Hello and welcome again. This is the fifth part of the videos of uh, generating random numbers in Java. And so let's see what we have seen so far. So, so far we had uh, seen two ways to generate random uh, numbers in, or booleans in Java. The first one is uh, mad random, which we did. We also did the class uh, of random objects and had to generate random uh, numbers or booleans in Java. And this is the last part. So the last one will be the Java security, uh, security random. So these are the ones that are important, very important to us because they are crypt cryptographically, cryptographically uh, secure. And remember what that means is this is going to produce pseudo random numbers but have the special property that they are also unpredictable uh, in the sense that they're not going to be, uh, if you have information about the previous numbers, you won't be able to predict in computation, in a reasonable computational time, what the next one will be. So those are the ones we're going to uh, uh, see right now. And the thing is, um, it's not going to be that much different from random. All the same methods and all the same techniques we use for random will work again for secure random. Exactly the same thing. The only difference here is that, of course, they're cryptographically secure. So, for example, uh, let's look at number three now. So, if you remember what we did for the second part when you use the random to create random uh, numbers or booleans in um, in random, we first create an object. So, we have to create an object. So we create an object of the class. And of course, when you have to create the object, you have to import uh, the library of secure random. So to create an object is exactly, almost exactly the same. You create an object in from the random uh, class. So you say, you say secure random. Always do that, secure random. Instead of random, now you say secure random. Uh, the name of your uh, whatever object you want to create. So choose your name, whatever you want. So I'm going to call mine. Let's call uh, my secure random. Again, that is just a name of the very, of the of that object. So this one right here, this is your name and you can use whatever you want again, as long as you follow the conventions for naming variables in Java. And then you say, this is what I'm going to say, one equal to new. And again, you say again, secure random. Secure random. And close parenthesis and say my column is exactly the same we did before. But now we add the extra word secure in here. It's the same thing. So I'm calling this object secure random. And again, what that's going to do is going to create an object of that class. So let's say here I have my object, which I call my secure random. So my secure random. Now that object, of course, uh, at this moment is not generating anything because I'm not asking to do anything. But it's going to create exactly the same things that random can create. So it can create integers. Random integers, cryptographically secure. It can create longs. It can also create uh, uh, booleans. Uh, let me erase that booleans. And the same as the other one, exactly the same. So I'm not going to repeat that again. So exactly the same as the other ones. Exactly the same thing. Not nothing changes for this one. The only uh, change here is that instead of being random, it's a secure random. It's a cryptographically secure random generator. So if you were to, if you want to, uh, for example, generate a, a, a random integer, you do exactly the same as you do for random. You write down the name of your object. In this case, mine is called like this. My secure random without spaces. And you said dot next int. Exactly the same as you did with random. And that is, that's it. You generate your integer. And again, you can put in a number here and the number will be the upper bound for your 
integer generating your integer and you know can also make a list the same as uh, we did with random you can create your list with for loops or you can create it with streams it's exactly the same as it works with with random so i'm going to show you in the eclipse application so we will double check that actually works exactly the same so let me go to the eclipse application so i'm here in eclipse and as you can see there i define my uh, object my secure random there with the same uh, thing that i did uh, in the video a little bit earlier and in the next line i'm going to print out a pseudo random uh, number using the uh, secure random uh, class now before you do that of course you have to import the line that you see above there that is java that security that secure random to be able to uh, first create your object and second be able to generate a uh, random integers or booleans or longs or whatever you want to generate so as you can see there so if i save this and and i run it then it's gonna generate a random integer like that one and of course if i go ahead and do it again then i get another random integer so as i mentioned in the video uh this secure random behaves uh in terms of the method is exactly the same it has it has the same methods you create list exactly the same as you create with random and the only not the only one, but the most important difference is the secure random is cryptographically secure. So if you want to uh, create or develop cryptographically secure applications and you need to generate random numbers on those applications, you need to use, use secure random instead of random. Because, of course, random, it is a little bit predictable. Now, there's another difference also, and the difference uh, is like this. Now, if you remember what we did with with random, you can set a seed for that that object. So it basically is is gonna where you're gonna start the the process. Now, remember the way you do it is you write down or you type the name of your object, which in my case is my secure random. And to set the seed, you simply say uh, that set. Uh, seed and then you say whatever uh, along over there in the middle so the long could be for example let's say I want to say set it to 100 all right so that set the seed for my for my secure random now remember when we did this for random every time we run it it gave me exactly the same integer every time I run it and the reason for random was because uh, it's a predictable uh, generator number. Now, that's not going to happen with this one because once I set the seed, okay, let's try here. So if I run this one, you see that integer there? If this guy was random but not secure random, I will get exactly the same number again. But let's look at what happens here. You see, I got another one. Uh, what is the reason for that? The reason for that is because is because of the following. This is a secure random, so this is supposed to be unpredictable. So it doesn't matter if you set a seed. The whenever you call a method to generate a random integer, every time you call it, it's gonna generate different number. That is completely different again from what happens with random. Basically, what ha what is happening is the following: when you set the seed for a secure random object, what happens is the secure random object takes that seed but it will also take entropy again. That does not happen with random. When you say you say to a random object, you set the seed, the random object will not look for any entropy. That's the seed for the random number or the object. In this case, for secure random, basically what the secure random is doing is taking that seed and combines it with entropy again. So every time you run it, it's completely different. So let's try one more time, and you can see there, that is giving me another number once again. So as I mentioned in the other and uh, and a little bit earlier, uh, secure random behaves almost the same way as the random. It has the same methods. You can create lists exactly the same way. It also has streams. There are the main important difference is that secure random is cryptographically secure, and also when you set seeds, uh, uh, a cryptographically secure 
uh, random object will not generate the same sequence again and again and again it will just uh, go on and on and on without if you even if you set the seed it will generate a random sequence every single time so you won't be able to predict what the number is going to be and that's basically the idea of secure random so that's basically it so that's all i have to say about generating random numbers in java and so we'll see we'll i'll see you in the next video with a new thing uh, for us here so we will talk a little bit more about stream ciphers and then we'll move to the next topic so i'll see you in the next video